The human senses of touch and vision don't operate in isolation, but together. In scientific terms, we're multimodal. This observation has inspired some extraordinary systems and experiments that allow users to see and touch virtual objects in the real world. This truly is science fiction come to life. I mean, there's this famous quote from Arthur C. Clarke, so it's the author who wrote um, 2001 Space Odyssey. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. When I heard this quote, I felt deeply touched because I think if you take somebody who doesn't know augmented reality and you show this to him or her, I think it's really mind-blowing, right? So it's like a magic trick, right? So it gives you a very, very strong sense of surprise and wonderment. And yeah, so that's why I felt magic is a good term that describes what we are doing. Christian Sandor is one of the world's leading experts on augmented reality. Following a doctorate in computer science from Munich University, Christian worked at Canon's leading edge technology research headquarters in Tokyo. There he created a design environment that enables users to see and touch virtual objects. Christian founded the aptly named Magic Vision Lab at the University of South Australia in 2009. Here, he and his team are experimenting with human-computer interaction for AR. At some point in my, I think during my master's thesis, I realized there are really two camps of researchers. There's this very technologically oriented researchers, and then we have other researchers which are ergonomics researchers or human factors researchers who care about to make things very usable and easily understandable to humans and so on. But there's a big gap because the technology, technological people don't care about if it's usable or not. And the, the psychology people, they don't care about the technical aspects. So that's why well, it's kind of my mission statement for research, really, so to bridge this gap between technology and psychology. From the earliest experiments in the 1960s, augmented reality has been considered the ultimate display. Ivan Sutherland was a pioneer in the field who said that the ultimate display would be a room in which the computer could control the existence of matter. Christian Sandor and the Magic Vision Lab have taken this concept one sense further, integrating haptics, or the sense of touch, into their own ultimate display. Our senses are continuously bombarded. I think 75% of what we perceive continuously is um, coming through the visual sense. Right? So I think if we only have one sense that we can use, the visual sense is the most powerful. And now of the remainder, again, 75% are the sense of touch. So that means by, by addressing what we do in our work, the sense of vision and sense of touch, it's like 80-90% of what we perceive continuously. All augmented reality displays are built from the same three components. A display device through which the experience can be displayed to the user, image generation that happens in real time, and head tracking, which places the virtual object in relationship to the user. In order to embed computer graphics into the real world, the camera position and orientation are often established using optical markers. These can be then found in the video image. In a haptic display, the components are doubled, with one set for sight and another for touch, and they are seamlessly integrated. Visual haptic augmented reality combines vir seeing virtual objects and touching virtual objects. To be able to touch virtual objects, we need a haptic device. A haptic device is, comes in different variances, but the one that we use currently is like a haptic feedback pen. I think the advantage of our system is that um, we can perform the same kind of tasks, but just it's much closer to doing the real task. Right? Because that's very natural, because if you see, this wouldn't be different from having a real fish there and touching it with a real pen. The Magic Vision Lab took a commercial turn with their next project, creating a means for designers to manipulate real-world objects with virtual designs. Their prototype was South Australia's own Farmers Union ice coffee carton. So what you can see there is the original um, packaging. And you can see that now we have a different appearance of the object Ulrich is holding in his hand, but also a different shape. 
I believe the benefit of this kind of application are very fast turnaround times. Because you can imagine if a designer on his computer, he's now changing that design, then within, I would say, within minutes, we can basically display it in the real world. So far, research had been focused on how to interact with a virtual object. Now the Magic Vision Lab has started investigating how virtual objects could be modified. This is the first demonstration that we are showing you today where actually users can manipulate objects. So now you can see there's this virtual shoe in front of Ulrich and he's now painting on the shoe. We showed this demo to children, right? like three-year-old children, and they could use this demo immediately without any explanation. So I would think that's what our demos clearly show, that young children can use it easily, or also we had elderly people using it, also no problem. More recently, the team at Magic Vision Lab have been fine-tuning the haptic augmented experience. In a unique collaboration between award-winning CG artist Matt Swoboda and the Institute for Computer Graphics and Vision at Graz University of Technology, they are creating a profound manipulation of our perception of our world and of ourselves. And now the burning hand actually is also an experiment in that direction because we were wondering what is a very strong emotion that you can create through augmented reality. Up till now, augmented reality research is struggling a lot just to get basic systems running, right? just to have a fish here. So typical researchers think they're happy if they can show a fish here. But then to make this fish look really, 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 really good, it's out of scope, basically, for many researchers. So in that sense, I hope it's going to quite stir up some attention, because it's really, I hope, it's going to be the highest quality augmented reality demo ever presented. With a mission to enhance human vision and intelligence on a worldwide scale, the future for the Magic Vision Lab is likely to touch us all. Christian believes that AR will have truly reached its goal when his grandmother is using it, and this, he believes, will be in the near future. So I think, like, my feeling is just if these systems get cheaper, I think they should be in every classroom, they should be in every home. My vision of the future is that um, we will be able, what you saw today, that you can do it everywhere, um, like on a worldwide scale. Right? Everybody should be able to see and touch virtual objects.